So, but this is about establishing the self, right? And during the time, so here's Vogue from November 2001, which means that probably these images were, this issue of Vogue was probably put together immediately after uh, the bombings on 9-11, because it takes a couple of months pretty much to get a, a magazine into, a, into the pipeline like this. Now it's really bloody hard to take this straight up. And I'm telling you, when I saw this thing came out, well, actually one of my students by this time, it was no, November now. And so I, and by this time I had, you know, students in this first year media studies course who were like, oh my God, <laughs> some of them still hated me. <laughs> they hated everything I said. That's okay. That's all right. Um, it's annoying, but you know, so what can you do? But then these, this one person said, have you seen Vogue? And I was like, no. She brought it in. I was like, wow, look at this. And she's like, isn't this amazing? I'm like, this is great. Do you mind if I borrow this and scan it? She's like, no, no, you, you can have it. So this is great. I took it away and I made scans of it immediately. So here's this red, white, and blue thing. It's like, well, so what? She's like, well, American fashion weighs the flag. It's because everything gets roped into explaining who we are. This is about making the self, right? This is about approving who we are and making the self look good. And so here's Brittany, who's been all polished up in Photoshop um, and uh, before her next meltdown, I guess. And um, what kinds of things we have? Well, we have this weird, whatever this thing is supposed to be, I guess it's supposed to be a dress. I'm not really, it looks like a coat to me, but really what it looks like is some kind of Nazi artifact because it's got these sort of severe lines and these bloody black collars. And then there's this armband. It's like, who came up with this idea? Well, you know, somebody who knows their World War II uh, propaganda stuff. It's like, this is, yeah, you know, they did a good job here of making um, images. It's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's the point about this stuff is that propaganda tends to use the same language. And when it approves of the self, it tends to look the same. And when it, dis when it disapproves of the other and wants to kill the other, it tends to look the same. I especially really love the uh, sort of pink uh, eyeshadow here, which I'm not sure if this person's actually supposed to be a vampire. I'm not really sure. And then we get the, uh, this kind of thing, which shows you basically what is it, well, what does a hero look like? Well, this couldn't happen soon enough, right? Where Jessica Lynch, who was this um, army private, um, the, she was in uh, <clears throat> a truck. They took the wrong road by accident. Uh, they got picked. She, she, they got picked up by. Uh, whoop, I'm frozen. Okay, there we go. Uh, she got picked up by. Uh, she and her squaddies uh, got picked up by somebody. She was shot. Um, she was taken then to an Iraqi hospital and they actually treated her very well. They, they, uh, they gave her drugs and meds, which they themselves were short of. And, um, and they were like, okay, we have, to, we have to let the Americans know that we've got this soldier of theirs. So they got in touch with the Americans and the Americans showed up at the hospital and forcefully took her back. And here's this picture of her. Somebody managed to sneak an American flag in there. <clears throat> and there she is on a stretcher. Um, and uh, she's being taken by the heroic soldiers who showed up. Well, the way that Newsweek s sold this was Saving Private Lynch, which is if you hadn't seen Saving Private Ryan, well, you're gonna be reminded of it. <clears throat> so there was this heroic mission to save a blonde female private. Oh man, this is the kind of thing you just live for. So the, it's an, again, another appeal to authority because this became the Saving Private Lynch story and they made movies of it. They, uh, again, it's an appeal to authority, which is the great generation again, which is like, look, we have our own heroes, see? Whoops. -a. Now, it's interesting that at the time, people didn't pick up on the story of Shoshana Johnson, um, who was, it turned out, a divorced cook, also an army, uh, also army, um, who was taken prisoner and was a 22-day captive, had a three-year-old daughter, um, but she was black. 
and you can see what she looked like. I mean, this is not a blonde 20 year old who wanted to be a school teacher and eventually became a school teacher. And Lynch turned out to be a smarter customer than people gave her credit for. She was very smart about saying, no, you know, uh, that's not how it went. Uh, actually, they treated me properly. Um, I won't be used as a, as a, as a pawn. But at that point, the story had moved on, but she was very good and she did actually become a teacher. And Shoshana Johnson was another pawn in this whole game. Um, and so here she is being shown on, the film of her being shown on Al Jazeera because everybody thought she was gonna be killed. But fundamentally, nobody really gave a damn because she was black, that was it. People were like, what? So I, this image, I took this image for, uh, of uh, Johnson with the Mickey Mouse shirt on. I, I can't remember where it was from. It's like, I, I can find out because I, I scanned it, but it was something like Ebony or something like that. It wasn't Vogue, you know, it wasn't Newsweek. Uh, eventually, it's like, look, on the anniversary of her release, she finally gets a spot. The anniversary, you know, a year later, after she'd been released, uh, Shoshana Johnson got a story. Okay, so now I've talked at some length about this story before, so I won't go over it again. This is Pat Tillman. Um, and then here is, so here is Bush on the bloody, whoops, uh, man. Here's Bush on the USS Missouri, as I recall. Um, what she, <laughs> God. He, here he is with his package uh, because they um, move myself over here. Um, so here he is, he, f he flew, they said, because he was supposed, he was in the Air National Guard, I think, but he was, <laughs> he was away from it a lot of, a lot because he was doing a bunch of cocaine, basically, so he kept sort of going off, off piste, and they were like, well, geez, what are we going to do with this guy, uh, because he was the son of the vice president, they were like, oh, you know, we can't, <laughs> we can't put him in the who's cow, uh, so they kept sort of, you know, giving him waivers, and he was a party boy. I mean, the thing about Bush uh, before he decided to run for Senate, which about which he knew squat, uh, was he liked to party. Then he got religion. Okay. So anyway, they had him land um, one of these aircraft on this, uh, on the Missouri. And uh, then get out of his flight suit, you know. It was a, uh, supposed to be a uh, photo opportunity. Um, everybody focused on the package because they were like, wow, who, who tightened up the straps on his uh, parachute there? And uh, did he actually fly the plane? It's like, well, he flew with somebody. It's, it's, you know, is, is that a Bible? It's a Bible. Is that your Bible? It's a Bible. Is, is that your plane? It's like, well, it's a plane. <laughs> anyway, then he got up on uh, the deck of the aircraft carrier and uh, he gave this uh, very famous mission accomplished speech where he had said, yeah, that's it. The war is over. We won it. It was May. Um, now, remember I talked about an appeal to force that may not necessarily look like it? Well, who exactly authorized this mission accomplished banner? We don't know. Um, there's been a big fight over it because it turned out that, uh, oh, people kept saying, no, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't my idea, no, 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 it wasn't me, you know, I didn't do that, I, no, no. So we don't know who did it. Um, is it customary to have the, uh, essentially the fleet line up and have all the ratings, you know, line up at the edge of the, yes. You know, that's, if you're gonna have a pres presidential uh, pass by, this is the kind of thing that it's customary to do. Now, this is the kind of thing that Trump would like to have, um, but it's not wartime. So the explanation for it is like, it's not gonna, the military like, mm, nah, you know, we're not really fond of that. Uh, you know, if you, <laughs> if you do more of what we wanted you to do, maybe, but no. Nah. But, um, but this did go for Bush. And so here he is giving the thumbs up. This is an appeal to force. Look at how strong we are. 